Good morning, modern steaders. Uh, we got the post and beam frame up yesterday. Today we got a little bit more framing to do. I can't wait to see what we're. Can't wait to see what it looks like at the end of the day. Pigs hear us. Morning, pigs. You still haven't eaten all your apples. He's getting pretty wide. Can't get over how wide he is. Mr. Pork chops is a lot narrower. Boys are so quiet this morning. You guys still sleeping? Good morning, Zeke and Caleb. You're silly. Good morning. Yes, good morning. It's a nice chilly morning this morning, huh? You guys slept good last night. Good morning. Those are our two new bucks on the homestead and they are settling in nicely. They've been here for two weeks now and they're doing really good. We just had the full moon the other night. Did you guys have find that affects your animals in any way. I know a lot of people plant by the moons and harvest by the moons. It's definitely interesting to see the changes that happen with the moons. Not sure if you guys follow us on Instagram or not, but we've been doing a lot of posting over on our Instagram page. So I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. We're getting a lot of questions and people asking for shirts and different merchandise. We are working on some new t-shirt designs. They should be coming out shortly. There's been a lot of behind the scenes work going on with that. It was an apple. Yeah, don't worry, just an apple that fell on the roof. Thank you, Willow. Steady two cups of milk. <laughs> I ordered this post and beam shed kit from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have a link in the description down below to their website and a promo code for 10% off your order. One of the reasons why I really like ordering their kits is they're customizable. This is a kit, it's all designed, but there's a few things we're going to change up. This doorway is smaller than this doorway, and the way we're supposed to be framing it up is they're not going to look the same, which for the original design, it's perfect. That's a storage shed and that's a firewood shed. Well, I want them both for firewood. So we're going to make this side match this side. And we're going to have a dividing wall in the center for stacking our wood up against. And it's going to look beautiful. But the reason why I tell you that is I got some cutting to do this morning. And if you buy the kit and you build it the way it is, you don't need to do any cutting. But I just like switching things up. So <laughs> let's start. So this door we're going to frame up differently and then this doorway we're going to frame up a little bit differently. So I need to start doing that first thing. So we are going to need to find some small blocks. Six of them that are 814s. That's the nice thing about the kit is everything is labeled. You get a little bit of extra spare parts and pieces. So we're going to have most everything we need right here. These ones right here. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. That's an 11. We don't want the 11. It's an 11, so we gotta have more in that pile. I know we do. So we're gonna do this. I knew I saw more yesterday. That's an 11. That's an 11. We need another eight. Ah, oh, 
There it is. It was hiding right in front of me the whole time. 814 right here. All right, we're gonna need our tape measure. Get our air muffs on. Sweet, that'll work right there perfectly. If I remember correctly, this measurement should be 92 inches. Nope, see I didn't. 87 and seven eighths. So I wanna measure from here and go 87 and seven eighths. Mark this here and here and then here. Oops. There and there. So we gotta look for a 62. That's a 79. This might be a 62. This is the 62. We can cut this down to a 50, because that should have been that header, and we have an extra piece right here uh, that comes with the kit so we can cut this one back and get all of our 50 inch long pieces Those three, we got those three. That side's not getting nothing. All right, so now we're going to need four 20479s. Best way to do this is let's mark, what is it, 34 and 36? Yeah, so let's mark 34. Let's mark. 34 and we can lay out our eight and a quarters one here here and one here Mark this one up the same way. So we need to know this on the outside. So I need to know 34, 36. Next one's gonna be easier to build, I think, up against. All right, we'll get all, get 
everything on this end flushed up. Not what we want. Get everything all flushed up again. Now I can take this screw out. All right, so I got all of the end wall pieces that we need to build prefab. We can stand them up and start. You started without me? I started without you, yeah. Too slow? Too slow. <laughs> all right, so we'll get those stood up and we get those screwed into position. Do two right there. I said, look at it. I know, right? It's looking more and more like a firewood shed. Get in there. We're gonna need two of them cut. Two. This one's 77 and 7 eighths. 78 I know I wanted to tell you that the other day I noticed it Flowers? Get more and more. More and more flowers? Oh yeah, look at all the colors. I'll take something. There we go. All right. Let's get the header up on this side. Next step. So we got our headers in. 
Now we need to put our corner braces in. Add your four by four by thirties. Oh, I want to pre-drill all of our corner braces. It makes it a lot easier when we go to install them. Less chance of them splitting also. Got them all pre drilled. There you go. Okay. Cool. And then when I'm putting these in, if there's an ugly side, I put the ugly side out because that'll get covered with a siding. And then we're going to see the inside side. still. Do the top one or the bottom? Uh, do the, hold on. Let's do the bottom first. You want to go a little bit down? Is it off a little bit? Oh, it doesn't match this one. How's that? Yeah. Let me know when you get it started and then I can push it. The brace won't be in our way because we go like this. Go for it, whatever one you want to do first. Belt. What's that? I don't need a tool belt. You don't need a tool belt. You got a pocket. Up, down. What do you want me to do? I think it was good. Okay. All right. A lot easier doing them with somebody than by yourself. These ones are fun and look good. They are fun to do. They look cool. It's satisfying when it like rips in. When it sucks them in. Yeah. And then it looks cool too. Yeah, I like it. It's got a good look. All right. Hey. Yep, we're flush. So sad. Did you see the wetness? Yeah, some of the boards are still really, they probably just got cut like last week at the sawmill or something. So they're really fresh wood. Is that okay? Sweet. Yep, perfect. Too bad I can't wear overalls every day. Why? Easier. Why can't you? Because I only have this pair. Oh. I don't want to look like I have the same pants on every day. Why is it? How are we looking height wise for the other one? Maybe up a little. Up a little?
All right. Sweet. All right, we'll get these two up. this corner now. Oh, it's fun. juicy. Is that juicy too? Hell no. Dripped on you? Why don't you start on the bottom? There we go. Okay. That one wasn't. That one wasn't juicy. All right. Let's do. Alright, start down here. Let me get on the inside, you go on the outside. Alright, go for it, right there. One, two, three left. That's it. We got three left. Sweet. That's it. That's What's that? This is my favorite part. It's your favorite part and we're almost done. Then we get to side it. Oh, can I use a nail gun? Yep. Really? It's going to be siding time? Yeah, we side it and then we roof it. I think this one's going to be a little wet. Is it heavy? Oh yeah. Weighs just a little bit. No, it's wet, just not dripping wet. All right, right there is good. An awkward angle. Is it? I actually did that better than a normal one. That one will suck up. Let me, you ready? Good, get in there and let me. Okay. Last one. This one's pretty heavy too. Definitely odd, but. All right. You're in, you just gotta stay at the... I'm not in. Try a different... There might be crud in that one. I just figured it was me. Now, sometimes, whatever the, the coating is, it gets balled up inside so it won't sit in good enough. Do you want to get rid of some? No, I'll use it at some point. It's like a dollar right there. Well, 
I thought it was me. Maybe not a dollar, but probably like 50 cents. Ah, oh, you got juiced on. We don't need anything right here. Nope, so it's not an opening. That's good. That is it. That's it? For the braces. That's all the braces. Okay, get me the nail gun. Sweet. Bing, bing, bing. Big row, what are you doing in there? Huh? Do you like my hammock? That's Can't see him very well. Brother, not your Big row, that fence is to keep you out, not to let you in. What are you doing in here? Dogs and the cat. Huh? What are you doing? That's my birthday present. He's like, yeah, I don't care. Look, my favorite. <gasps> Yay. You love that too, don't you? Yeah. Wait, it's a butternut squash. Butter cup. And butter then you cup. put a little bit of brown sugar in. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so did I. Put this fence thing up because we just let it go. Now you can see everything's growing better now. Gavin and I did it. You helped get the tools for us. Yeah. Yep. I saw two over there earlier. Yeah, there's some right here. Yeah, those are the two that I saw. They're fat. They're fat. Spiky. Yeah, I don't like when the cucumbers are spiky. Need to protect them, I'm sure. From... Yeah. Oh, another one right oh, there. Oh, there's another one. This one's really spiky. Yeah, it's yours. We missed two. What can we do with all these cucumbers? I did pickles maybe. Maybe we have time. Oh, and there's two. I don't know if I have time to pickle those. Eat them. Yeah, I like cucumbers. Me too. Mom, there's also one right there. Yeah. Cut. I'm gonna leave this one, but I'll let it hang right there so you see it. Whoa. Baby. Oh my goodness. Big cucumber. Let me show the recipe. Huh? Maybe I should have a recipe. Goodness. What happens when I get these all shell stuff? They go right there. there. Well, they, well, there probably was some little ones. There was little ones. But and then, then they got some air. Yeah. That one I think I want to leave. Look at this. Look at this carrot I just picked. Awesome. I know stuff's starting to grow. Yeah. You like those ones, don't you? Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Snack time. You rinse it off? Yep. You better rinse it off. I did. Okay. It's clean. Yummy. Is it sweet? Not the first bite. <laughs> it's good. Why are you making a face? Not good? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna water the tomatoes? Yeah. Make sure you get the ones way over. I know, I do those last. Huh? Starting to get some red ones. And some dry leaves, but. We're starting to get some tomatoes. We've ate a few. Have it on our burgers tonight. Are we having burgers tonight? Yep. Yay. I had to change it to Gavin and Callan didn't want burgers, so we'll have them now. We have buns. Beets are doing good. Excited. Oh, I gotta show you my more of my flowers. My wildflower seeds. We just Olivia and I just flung some down this couple months ago and, and nothing happened and we were kind of sad. But look at these. We are so excited. Aren't we so excited about these? Yes. They're beautiful. We're gonna do it again next year. Yeah. Love it. Let's see if I can get a close up. So pretty. I really love the pink ones. Yeah. I wonder if we have as many as yesterday. How many are you hiding, honey? Whoa! Eight, 
10, 12, holy moly. 14, 16, how many are you hiding? 17, more than yesterday. That is a good, messy burger. So messy. So messy. Those are some good, juicy, grass-fed cheeseburgers. Oh, anytime we get any meat from farmfoodmarkets.com, we've never been disappointed. There's a link in the description down below and a promo code for 10% off your order in, or in August. Man, I love when you get good meat. I hate when you go to the store and you spend the money on some decent piece of cut of meat and then you get it and it doesn't taste good. We've never had that issue with farmfoodmarkets.com. Anytime we get stuff from them, we've always really enjoyed it. And the best part is it all comes from small, can't say local, but small grass-fed farmers throughout the U.S. They partner with them all over the place. So if you go to their website, get some meat, check it out, and it tells you the different farms that they get their meat from, and it tells you their story. They're all just small little family farms, which I just love being able to connect with small farms like that and help support them. Uh, it's nice to see the woodshed going up. We're getting excited to have some storage, a storage spot to put all of our firewood for the year. Oh, it's going to be great. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.